So, Tabman, bone maker, wanted to do this quick, not super quick, but a quick look around on Regolith 2, Regolith Linux 2. I don't know, I'm not sure if they're changing to a desktop or if they're just going to stay a distro, but uh, either way, it, it's it's freaking badass. It's a customized i3 window manager for Debian and Ubuntu, and the the announcement post and release notes for it suggested to install it with a minimal install by using Ubuntu Studio or Ubuntu Server, excuse me. Um, I ha I have Ubuntu Mate running on both of the bitches, and so I just installed it on top of that. There are some minor things. I mean, it's not unusual. I'm using it right now to record this video on the big bitch with uh, OBS, and it it works really good. So I decided I wanted to try the minimal install and see what it looks like on the little bitch. So that's what I did. The only thing I installed was FlatHub and GNOME software and software properties in Synaptic and the Brave browser. Because it's so so it's such a minimal install. You don't even have a browser. Or a software center of any kind. But uh, I'm going to try to use mostly the terminal to install stuff and not not mess around with uh, using a software GUI or anything like that. So let's click over here if I can find the right mouse. This, will you, will you, will you, will you, I'm, I'm going to insert some B roll that I recorded of installing it because what I did was when I installed it I put Ubuntu server on the little bitch and then I SSH'd into it from big bitch why I don't know I had a keyboard and mouse and I could have installed it right there but it was you know the coolness factor was to SSH into it and then install it that way and I followed their directions and everything went good great great install it took probably 20 to 30 minutes because Little Bitch is it's an older i5. With, it does have 16 gigs of RAM, but it still is not a beefy machine like Big Bitch is. And when I do this, if I'm going to run it on Little Bitch for a while and make sure it goes good. And if it does, I'm going to right wipe my Ubuntu Mate and install it on the big pitch but i'm i'm thoroughly happy with with it on ubuntu mate right now but i would love to see the minimal install because just because <laughs> the coolness factor so anyways like i said it took about 20 30 minutes on a little bitch so big bitch probably take maybe 10 15 minutes but anyways here we go wrong mouse be right back. No, I'm back. The thing is, my door on this office doesn't latch. Excuse me. So my dog just kicks the door open whenever she wants to come in. And it's annoying. But uh, anyways, I digress. Here we go. This is Regolith desktop on the Ubuntu server. So as you can see, this is really, 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 really plain. Um, make my, I'll make myself a little smaller here. Oop. I wanted to try to cover that up. Because that is kind of annoying. And it's, what that is, is the, um, screen sharing thing because I had to use I, I installed Brave because I have to use Video Ninja to 
you know, record the desktop over to Big Bitch. There is a screen sharing thing with GNOME. I can't figure it out. And I tried using my daughter's capture card. I don't have any HDMI cables long enough to reach from Little Bitch to Big Bitch. But the, anyways, I digress. Will you, you know, install, reboot, this is what you've got. It's a plain, simple desktop. Now, the way Regolith works, and the way it's different from i3, is that it's split up into partials. Um, there, It's got files in different spots. The idea is stability, so that you can customize your desktop, and when there's updates to it, it the, the updates don't overwrite your customizations. So what they want you to do is to bring everything into the um, X resources file, which is found in your, your config, your dot config. And you go to Regolith 2. And there's that. Yeah, you see, I don't have an X resources file there because I haven't started one yet. So this is going to be full brand spanking new. You know, you're going to experience it with me. So first launch, we'll cover that real quick. It shows you your key binding viewer pops up and it looks like this. This is your key binding viewer. And it, it's got all your, your basic key bindings on it. And it's also got notifications, all your windows that you have open, yeah, commands you can run, and then all your applications that you have installed. Like I said, I installed like four or five applications. But these are all your key bindings, and it looks familiar because it looks kind of like Rofi. I, I Regolith used to use Rofi as a launcher, but they have updated it to. Uh, let me just go ahead and go to that. This is what they changed since 1.6. This is now Regolith 2, desktop 2. Uh, converted i3 config into partials. The conf.d style x resource discovery migration from Rofi to Lia, I L I A, Lia as the desktop executor. Um, that's, you know, you hit uh, super and space. And see, to me, that's Rofi. But, uh, Migration to nerd fonts for looks to simplify and enhance the font icons. A new build system decoupled from Launchpad. And port of looks. Less Gael and nerd, Nord from the 1.6 looks. They changed the, the website, obviously. Um, polish for Leah. Bugs and wallpaper handling, better IDP, IDPI support, better first-time user experience, porting most existing looks into to the new X source resource X resource schema, and rebranding from regular Linux to regular desktop environment. That's what makes me think this line right here makes me think that regular regular Linux is no more, and they're just going to be regular desktop environment that you know to for Debian and Ubuntu. This is just it's freaking awesome. I'm loving it. Um it's absolutely awesome. Okay, so for your basic usage you can launch an application, you know, press super in, in the space bar, brings up the Rofi or Aaliyah. And then you choose, you know, your, your applications and all that. Super control and space allows you to is is 
to focus on the running application. So if you've got, let's see, we'll open another terminal here. Super control space. Yeah. I don't get that yet. I'm, I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just like I3. You got super control. Your super shift Q kills everything. Your terminal is super enter. Uh, file browser is super shift and N. And then you've got, let me close these. And then you've got your, you can change your workspaces with super and the number. Then you can do, um, what else is the same? Oh, there's super and C, which is the control center, which is basically GNOME control center, but it's now the regolith control center. And you've got all your other stuff in here. Control your applications, your online accounts, sharing, your sound, your power, your displays, mouse touchpad, keyboard, printers, movable media, blah, 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 blah. Then about, you know, yada, 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 your users. You know, your typical stuff in GNOME because basically this is i3 and GNOME together on Ubuntu. I don't, you know, personally, I'm not a GNOME fan, but this works and it's not killing my resources because, I mean, look at this. This is my resource. Well, you can click on that little icon there, engine icon. I'm sitting here idling with Brave Browser running and it's pushing out the Video Ninja and this is all, you know, I'm running 26% of my CPU, my RAM, it's 2.2 .2 gigabytes of RAM. That's, that's pretty damn good, I think. But I, I digress. Let's, let's do some stuff here you know, it is all the other stuff is basically i3 there's no you know if you've ran i3 it's it'll seem like a good old thing okay the configuration we can set wallpaper here using the x resources file which there is no x resources file in there yet so I think what I got to do is stick one in there. So let's do a touch dot config slash rego rego lip two slash X capital X resources boom now let's double check and make sure it's there you people that are used to using Linux in the command line and stuff you know it's there I know it's there but you know I'm a bonehead and I do my videos for boneheads so we're going to go over and take a look and see, there it is right there. We just created the X resources file. Now, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. If my Linux buddies are watching this from the Linux cast Discord. But check this out. I know you guys are probably going to flip out when you see... <laughs> Yes, I want to install that. I wonder if you could zoom in on this. Nope, guess not. Damn. 
I was hoping you could zoom in on it on the terminal, but I guess you can't. Anyways, I just installed micro. So now we're going to micro config slash rego left to slash x resources. Alright. So since this is an X resources file, we've got some things that we need to do. If you want to keep it looking good and, and pretty and easy to follow, I have no idea how to do that yet. So my X resources file on the Ubuntu Mate on Big Bitch Regolith is all over the place. <laughs> so, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do um, this size. Okay, first, first let's do this. Let's do the looks because that's the important thing is the looks. So I need to get rid of this. So what we do is okay, we've got these. Note this. This is for Regolith 2. They've only got black hole the default group grub box neville nord and solarized dark so to change the these are themes for regular so to, to you just sudo apt install the theme name and then regular looks set and boom it's there but i'm going to show you a shortcut this is very cool so we need to do sudo apt install install let's do screw it. let's start off with the ugly one for solarized dark regolith You know what? I'm just going to install all of them. Screw it. You know what? Better yet. Let's just close this. Because I've already got Synaptic installed. Show you how to, how to do it with this. Oop. Go up here and we'll search for rag go lift slash dash look all right then we got black hole we got the default installed we're just going to click on all of them I know you guys are cringing. But that's okay. I don't mind. Then we'll hit apply. This one shouldn't take very long. But I couldn't. Could lie. And it could take a very long time. I don't have my glasses on. I should put my glasses on. Holy cow, I can see. I guess this probably was the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. We can do... I found it somewhere here. Big files. I might have to look it up on my over here. Ah, 
wrong keyboard. Almost screwed that up. I'm still married to my mouse for some reason. I, I, I say that I want to get rid of it, but I just, it's, I find it very hard to do. Oh yeah, there it is. So this is, this is almost done. Okay. Right. That's done. So, if you push super alt and then the letter L, it pops up with your choices here. So let's click on the black hole and it should refresh. Yep. And there it is, the black hole thing. Now let's go ahead and look at the next, next one here, grub box. I believe this one will put it up at the put the bar at the top. If it's gonna change. There it goes. Yep. This is grub box, got the bar at the top. And these come these these themes come with wallpapers too, so see. There's the grub box. Go back and show you the black hole. Now, I'm big bitch, this does not take this long to refresh. See, there's the, the black hole. Let's try Neville. This is like a brand new theme. It's a light theme. So, block your eyes. There you go. Let's do the solarized dark for you solarized lovers. Yeah, not my thing. The, but the one I do like is Nord. These are all customizable. You can change them any way you want. This is the one that I'm using on the big bitch. Okay, so let's get into this X resources file. So, the X resources file... This one right here. What you've got to do is we open it up. I'm going to micro into it. I cannot type today. Okay, see we've already got stuff on there now, but you see the the convention here, the regolith regolith dot look dot path, and then that's the, the user share regolith look, Nord is the theme. These are the other themes that we get switched. Every time you switch, it's going to be up here. It's annoying, I know. Oh. <sighs> So the next thing that I wanted to do was I'm looking at the X resources file on Big Pitch. I wanted to move well, I needed the GNOME terminal to use transparent background. So you do GNOME dot terminal. Use. True. And then I need to set the 
transparency percent. The 30 is what I got it set on over there. And then to get that, you know, to, to get these things to show, you got to, we're going to have to save it. Q. And then do a reg go left. Look. Refresh. Right, go. Oh, and it's fell right. There it goes. I see, I'm not seeing so much of the. transparency over here and I don't know why so let me look and see if I spelled everything right no I'm talking about dot use dash transparent dash background to no internal background trans Huh. Do we know? I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. Um. Other than that, oh, I, I need to move the bar to the top. So you do I3 dash WM dot bar. That position. Pull on top. Switch over here. We'll do where I go with book. And now I get the bar at the top. See my gaps, you can change the gaps. Um, I don't see where those are at. I don't think I changed them on that one. But that's pretty much all I've done on Big Bitch. And other than changing the wallpaper, and there's two different ways you can do the wallpaper. You can do it the recommended way there. Or you can go to your file browser. Oh. Cancel. Or you can go to your file browser. Which I don't have running right now. And then you can go to pictures. And then I really like this one. But this one I think is going to look pretty cool. He said his wallpaper. And... There you have it. And I, you know, you still got your, you, it, it's awesome. That's all I can say about it. It's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I'm going to go through here and finish setting up little bits the way that I want it. Um, yeah, there, there's, there, 
they've got some great documentation. You know, granted, most of this, 90% of this document, documentation is for everything below Regolith 2, like 1.6 and below. But you can change pretty much anything with this X resources file. And the only thing I haven't been able to do is on the multi-monitor display, I haven't figured out how to tell it oh, what workspaces go to what display. And as soon as I can figure that out, I'll be great. I tried last night for probably three hours to get the, them to do anything, but I, I couldn't. What I ended up doing was I went, went through and relabeled 10 workspaces as you know, gave them each numbers. Oh, oh. So that's going to be it for this video. It's a good half hour, somewhere around in there. Be good. Be safe. Don't stick your finger where you would stick your face. And go check out Regolith Desktop. Dude, this is just freaking awesome for Ubuntu and Debian people. Which I'm starting to become a Ubuntu person again. Send the hate to Matt at the LinuxCast.com or DT at DistroTube.com. <laughs> but don't, you know, I'm. All right, listen. I'm going to touch on this real quick. Bucket, save it for another video, too. We'll be good. Oh, wrong, wrong mouse. I need to, I really need to put.